الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Epidemic Laws Born Typhus by Professor Ahmoud Hani Suleiman These are rickettsial diseases, their causative agents and their vectors and their reservoir There is a typhus group Epidemic typhus, endemic typhus, scrub typhus, a spotted fever group, Indian tick typhus, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Acacia pox, others, trench fever, and Q fever. We discussed Q fever before. Now we are going to the epidemic typhus, Laos born. Infectious agent, either Rickettsia pofasicki, Rickettsia rickettsii. Rickettsia conori, Rickettsia australis, Rickettsia tsutsuga mushi. Human body louts epidemiology. Human body louts, pediculus humanus corporis, lives in clothing under hygienic, poor hygienic conditions and usually in impoverished cold areas. Lice acquire Rickettsia provasicki when they ingest blood from a Rickettsiaic patient. Rickettsia multiply in mid-gut epithelial cells of louse and shed in louse feces. Infected louse leaves febrile person and deposits infected feces on its subsequent host during its blood meal. Patient auto-oniculates organism by scratching. Sometimes louse killed by rickettsia and does not pass rickettsia provasicki to its offspring. Continued epidemiology. Epidemic typhus haunts regions afflicted by wars and disasters. Outbreak involved about 100,000 people in refugee camps in Burundi in 1997. A small focus occurred in Russia in 1998. Sporadic cases reported from Algeria and frequent outbreaks occurred in Peru. Eastern flying squirrels and their lice and fleas maintain Rickettsia provasicki in zoonotic sites. Fleas transmit it sporadically. Continued epidemiology. Brill densal disease, this is important, is a recurring illness years after acute epidemic typhus, probably due to waning immunity. It remains latent for years. Its reactivation leads to sporadic cases in louse-free populations or in epidemics in louse-infested population. Rickettsia used in bioterrorism infection with Rickettsia provasicki and Rickettsia rickettsii lead to high case fatality ratios. These organisms difficult to diagnose diseases. This is why they are used in bioterrorism are highly infectious when inhaled as it results another cause for their usage as a bioterrorism and selected for resistance to tetracycline or chromphenicol in lab, the third cause. Clinical features. It is an acute severe febrile disease with prolonged high fever, headache, maculopapular rash, fever reach 40 degrees centigrade and stay at high level for two weeks. A very severe disease. On fourth to sixth day, small pink macules appear in axillary and on upper trunk rapidly cover body. In severe cases, rash becomes petechial and hemorrhagic. A splenomegaly occurs in some cases. Disease resolves after two weeks. In untreated cases, case fatality rate, uh, case fatality rate with age increases with age and may reach 40 Method of diagnosis serologic test, vial felix reaction with proteus ox 19, largely obsolete, obsolete. Complement fixation test with group specific or type specific antigen, IFA test, most commonly used, toxin neutralization test. Isolation and identification of rickettsia by inoculation of guinea pigs with infected blood. Epidemiology occurs worldwide 
It is associated with overcrowding and poor hygiene, favoring infestation with body life. Reservoir humans and in USA flying squirrel. Mode of transmission Rickettsia provasicki found in feces of infected human body louse. Infection by puncture wound on skin, which is contaminated by scratching. Inhalation of dry infected louse feces may be responsible for some infections. Incubation period one week to two weeks, commonly 12 days. Period of communicability. Disease is not directly transmitted from person to person. Patient is infected for lice during febrile illness and probably two to three days after temperature returns to normal. Louse infected for two to six days after infected blood meal. Susceptibility and resistance. Susceptibility is general. There is, no, uh, there is long lasting immunity following infection. Control of case isolation is not required after proper delousing of patient, clothing, living quarters, and household contacts. There should be concurrent disinfection of clothing and bedding of patient contacts and laundering of clothing and bedding of patient contacts. Treatment tetracycline chloramphenicol till patient becomes a febrile. Doxycycline also used. Control of contacts, investigate all contacts, look for source of infection, keep all immediate contacts under surveillance for two weeks. Preventive measures, apply effective residual insecticide powder, carbaryl to population at risk, improve living condition and standard of hygiene, immunize susceptible entering typhus area. Two doses of one milli for children over 10 years and adults with intervals of four, four weeks between doses. Epidemic measures typhus control by applying insecticide with residu residual effect to all contacts in case of widespread infection systematic application of residual insecticide to all persons in community is indicated prevention and control delousing infested person with application of 10% of DDT as lasting powder to be repeated weekly for four weeks steam disinfestations of all the clothes high standard of personal hygiene international measures notify WHO and neighboring country countries of occurrence of disease in an area previously free of disease louse borne typhus is a disease under surveillance by WHO that should be reported to the communicable disease